Servus guys and welcome to another tutorial. This time I've been asked on my series Rife Factory 2 how the autonomous uh, autonomous uh, autonomous <laughs> autonomous activator is working. Well, we just uh, had a look at the recipe and it's quite simple to craft, so uh, without further ado, let's check the inventory and the only thing that the uh, autonomous activator is doing is to click right or click left in a certain level and it's working for example perfectly with the sieve um, well I'm doing it manually right now you have to click all the time right and yeah just um, get some gravel through the sieve and maybe get some ores out and that's uh, what the autonomous activator can do for you uh, it needs uh, some power so I'm going with the um, survivalist generator and put some coal in it so it's filling up it's uh, it needs rf power so and you all also uh, all, uh, you just ca could see that uh, the autonomous activator is already working uh, there's some uh, further settings for import export for example augments and so on and uh, well here you can set left or right click here you can set the aim levels and on this one is uh, which type of item uh, or uh, op if, if the thing should randomly use some item and so ever. So um, what you can set here with the aim level, this is the important thing is, um, should the autonomous activator click on the same level or click high or low? And uh, this button is, well, let's say, uh, use every uh, go round with using items in your inventory, use only the first slot or use it randomly. So. To get it working with the sieve, just put it like this, put the gravel in and the autonomous activator will uh, yeah, de will deploy gravel into the sieve. And yeah, just keep, uh, and he keeps right clicking and you do not have to do anything, just wait and collect the items. And um, this is aim level zero. And as you can see, uh, the autonomous activator will plant or place uh, a gravel block because it's right clicking gravel all the time. So uh, let's have a look at another aim level. That's the only thing you have to know with the auton uh, autonomous activator. Now we have to uh, set an aim level that goes low because he has to click uh, one, one level below. So you just set there aim low. Uh, leave, the, leave everything like it is and uh, now it should click, right click uh, one level below and as you can see it's it's working perfectly fine. To test it out we can say aim level uh, in the same level so or aim level high and uh, you were able to see that uh, the autonomous activator um, yeah, set the block in that direction that you um, told him to. And yeah this is more or less the tutorial. Um, this setting, by the way, there's, uh, I, I already did this video, I think, uh, a year ago, but this setting works very fine with the vacuum hopper. So just get a vacuum hopper near to the sieve and everything that gets yeah, pulled out by the sieve uh, will be collected by the vacuum hopper because it's, yeah, well, like a vacuum cleaner, uh, it's working like that. And, uh, well, just get a chest below it and uh, all the items uh, will uh, be transferred from the vacuum hopper, uh, hopper to uh, the chest. Just set the item, uh, you have to set, uh, well this is like set the output and just right click for uh, moving and left click for the output and everything will be transferred very fast um, into the chest. So this is the tutorial. I hope uh, yeah, you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Have a good time and see you next time. Servus guys.